Hey everyone, welcome back to a special video that I'm going to be doing today. Um, this is my speaker collection video 2021. This is how many speakers I have been collecting. To start off with, we got some Panasonic's down here. We've got Panasonic speaker down here as well from the home theater system. Now these two Panasonic speakers have a super woofer in them, which actually makes space for your music. So these ones are the SBAK44s. So you got the low frequency, which is rated at 6 ohms, 140 watt music power. I've done a video on these before, taking these apart and showing them how they work. My word, they got quite a few views too, like over a hundred views. So uh, yeah, got two of them down here. Next up, we've got these ones here. These ones are the SB AK 250s. This is the right one. Now this one has a black woofer in it. And a tweeter up top as well. As you can see in there. A tweeter in there. High frequency. Also got a pair of these as well. Right. And you got this fellow here. This is the Panasonic. SB HC5810 speaker, center channel speaker. Now let's have a look on here over the grill. Eh? Now we've got two full range woofers in them, and you got one silk dome tweeter in there as well. And uh, yeah. This one is rated at 3 ohms, made in Hamburg, Germany, made in China, do not use except with the specified system to center channel. See the terminals on there too, professional ones. I love those ones too, actually they're really cool. I do have some stereo, oh, sorry, um, audio pro speakers which are studio speakers and they sound twice as good as these ones here they sound twice as good i got some kenwoods up there as well i got two sony's i got some panasonic speakers with some little speakers and a center channel i got subwoofer down there we got two subs one's one has a dual five point Five and a half in it. Alright, so one of them has dual five and a half inch woofers in them, and one in the other one has seven inch or six point five inch woofers in them. I think it's only down firing, so it actually like just fires down. So, uh, yeah. Although I really like this speaker though. Dom Tweeter. So uh, yeah, really, really nice. Very nice cover as well. It snaps on there just like that. Cool. Right, on to the next one. We've got Panasonic Center Channel Speaker. You don't really need to know much about that. Because we just reviewed that one, it's pretty much the same brand, but this one is a different model. As you see right here. So, uh, yeah. SB PC840 speaker. And we got these little speakers here as well. 
These are Iowa speakers. I keep thinking they were Sony speakers, but no. They are not. So I got... Right, so we have some Iowa speakers with a built-in powered subwoofer. Ooh, sounds posh. Right, and we got a little mid-range type speaker. These ones are the SX M55s. Front speaker, high frequency, 6 ohms. Speaker, low frequency, impedance, 6 ohms. So they're basically both 6 ohms. Made in Tokyo, Japan. These pretty much like Japanese speakers then. Very, very nice design too. Slotted port in there as well. With a subwoofer. It's pretty cool. Give you a little run down of that. I got two of these bad boys. They sound absolutely amazing. Not too bad for the size though. So yeah. Alright. And we have You might not you may not have seen this one, but this one is a Sony down firing subwoofer it's got a little subwoofer in there too little sub in there can you see it oh yeah there it is I see it yeah I know the dust cap's been messed up in there but that's alright still sounds really good actually it still does yeah blue tech on the side I don't know why Oh, Wu-Tac, it's horrible stuff, it's terrible for speakers. <sighs> no, yeah. I see Sony on the front as well. And on there too. Very nice. This thing weighs like at least like two pounds. <laughs> at least a quarter of my weight. So yeah, we got messed up. We got these little speakers here. These are Panasonic SB FS eight four one. That's the model number of these speakers. Yes, I know it's a little bit dirty on the on the back. And wipe it off at the end of the video. You can see some discoloration there on the terminals as well. That used to be pure white, but somehow the sun managed to get to it and just took all the white off it. Even the speakers look okay. Speakers look alright, they're a bit discoloured as well, but that's alright. But still, I got two of these little ones. Same with the other one too. And, we got the giant one, right here. This one has dual 5.5 inch woofers in it. It's a powered subwoofer, so it's got an amplifier on the back. This one's rated at AC 230 to 240 volts, 340 watts, 50 hertz. Panasonic ABC Networks, Singapore Limited, Singapore. Made in Indonesia. Ooh, that's fancy. 
and the speakers themselves are made in Malaysia. If you can see down there, I don't know if you can, but see the magnet right there. And you got on there, and you got the amplifier. There we go, just like that. Ah, here's the front of it as well. Oh, this thing's a beast. It can lay on its side as well, but not on the other side because it's got a vent on there. I do have another one like this that has 6.5 inch flippers in it. Oh, oh boy. Right. Next up, we have got Panasonic Cow Speaker. I don't know where the other one went. This one is rated at 70 watts max. SBFS840 speaker system. Impedance 4 ohms. Input power. IEC 70 watts max made in Malaysia. <laughs> that sounds very high end, guys. People say um, these sound like uh, rubbish, but no, they actually sound really good. These actually did have mounting poles on them as well. You can actually mount them on, just like that. Got three screws on there, but only two were needed. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, they're pretty cool speakers, though. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, we've got these little Logitech speakers. Now these ones, I made a video on, but didn't upload it yet. I'm still working on it. Now these are from a Logitech 5.1 system. For a computer. These little guys here. This is so cute. I know why the dust caps just pushed in a little bit but still they actually don't sound that bad cute little ones got Logitech at, at, at the top as well nothing else on the back apart from the stand but yeah I got four, got five of these little things plus I have the subwoofer but um, it's in a different box the reason why I put it in a different box is because I didn't want it to sound very hollow because it was in a it was in a high resonance box and it just sounded terrible so I put it in a bigger box and it sounded much better after that. So uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if we've done these ones here. But these ones here, these have a slotted port on them too, a slot port on them. Right, and these ones are the SSH991s by Sony. Sony makes some really, really good speakers actually, I've got to tell you, these things sound amazing. Oh, what a bass. Thanks to their 6.5 inch woofer design as well. Nice little tweeter as well. Cute. You got a fake tweeter up top. Which I assuming is probably a piezo. So uh, yeah. Get off the tongue a little bit. There's a little white spot up there. 
I don't think um it messes with the sound though. And whoever commented, stop hitting the whoopers. I was just checking how much bass they have. Okay. Can't control my work now. So yeah, basically I got two of these things. I got a pair of them down there. You can even see them on the frame? No, you can't. There we go, that's much better actually. <laughs> That's much better. I didn't have it in frame for a minute. Right. We got some Sony's right here as well. We don't need to have a close up of them. Right, we got some Kenwoods right here. Hang on, guys, hang on. Sorry about that, guys. That was embarrassing for my friend. Rachel. 22nd of December. Okay. And these ones actually have removable covers on them too. So we can actually have a look at the actual drivers. Let's have a look at the actual drivers, eh? Take the cover off. Here we go. That's the cover. Chuck it there. We've got a lovely tweeter as well, which actually reminds me of a JVC. But this one has been hit by the sun because look, compared to the cover of the box and the cover of the woofer, it's actually quite similar. This is just a little bit darker. And this one is just way whiter as well. And also, up there used to be a tweeter, but it's gotten knocked out by the original owner. <laughs> That's a bit funny actually. Actually used to be a piezo up here. But yeah. Not much bass out of that, but that's all right. Where's the port? So yeah, not bad speakers actually these are. Sometimes these can be a pain to get back on. S dash two three three eight ohms. Maximum input power, 90 watts, Kenwood Corporation. 22nd of December, look at that. Who writes on their speakers like that? Seriously, I do not. I did not do that. That is not my handwriting. I'm definitely going to do a separate video on these two as well. Right, these ones here are the SSD22s, Sony, three-way speaker system, with two tweeters actually, from a real tweeter, I'm surprised. And the covers don't come off, unfortunately. But they look pretty cool though. Uh... Done this, done that, and that, and that, 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 and that, and that, and that. Both done these. 
I've done these. Not these yet, so we're down here. Then with these speakers here, guys. <sighs> right. So like I said, these are the Sony SSD2 D22s speaker system rated at 6 ohms. Now I got these off marketplace around 100 bucks. My word, they sound really good. Oh boy. I wish I had some Bose speakers. That would be so cool. It's got a 6.5 inch woofer in there. Two tweeters. One at the top. One at the top. One at the bottom. So a bass port as well. I always get my words muddled up all the time. Ridiculous. Here's what the woofers look like. Look at that. They're actually not too bad. They're pretty good. 65mm cone tweeter, 65mm cone mid range, 170mm cone woofer. Base reflex, three way speaker system. Not much resonance. Relatively high. Not bad. Nothing wrong with that. These are really good speakers. Oh wait, this is a five and a half inch. Wait, I can't tell what size woofer this is. I'm looking at the Sony's right now over there. Uh, I think they have six point five inch woofers on them, and so do these. I don't really know. Think about thinking about replacing the. Dust caps on these. On them as well, but uh, I'm just gonna do about it. Not a bad cover to go with this too. Let's check with the other one actually. Let's check with the other one. Oh, there goes the speaker. <laughs> oh well. What's this one like? Cover won't come off, that's alright. I'm gonna check the woofer for a minute. Seems to be alright. I know it's got a hole in it, I need to try and stitch that up somehow. But let's go put these back with the others. There's one more set we have to look at. One more set, and then that's it for today's video. Okay. 
to that. You have to move all the other speakers out of the way. Let's do that. Right. You got these speakers right there. Let's go have a look at them, eh? Right. Now these speakers I never featured on the channel before. But they are Sanyo old school speakers. They're made in New Zealand, which is where I am right now. You sort of like these hair to work from the 1980s at least. Now let's um, take these Kenwoods off. Very nice speakers too. Alright, let's... Uh, One cover off. There we go. It's alright, didn't break. It's what normally does. Now I fixed these up before as well. I fixed them up. Because when I went to have a look inside to inspect um, the woofer, the mid-range, and the tweeter, the uh, terminals, um, sorry, um, the little plugs, we go on to the terminals of, of the speaker, it actually broke off. It was so brittle, so I had to simply just um, wind the uh, copper wire around the terminal. Sorry, I'm out of breath, guys. Those things are quite a pain to get off and it takes a lot of energy. Let's try and get these off as well. Let's try and get them on. Um, this is a bit of a challenge to get off. Oh, wow. Never a pain to get off. Who put these on here? My word. Wow. They're on there good. <laughs> yep. Let me have a closer look at them. Morning, welcome to guys. This has a 10 inch woofer, a 4.5 inch mid range, and a 3.5 inch tweeter up top. Yes, I know the dust caps are pushed in on the uh, on the mid range, but still it works fine. Okay, yeah, these are cool. They all move like real speakers. Like this one moves. That one moves. That one does too. <laughs> they all move. Like, aren't we supposed to do that? Wait, I don't even know. I don't know where they're supposed to move like that. Of course, um, they do have crossovers in them as well to prevent any low frequencies getting to the uh, the other speakers of the unit. I mean, uh, yeah, these are real nice speakers. I got these. I picked these up for about four bucks at the Lion Shed in Cambridge on Vogel Street. If you look that up. You see it. It's a rover buff. Total music power 80 watts. That's pretty good. That's awesome. Sanyo SX415s. 
8 ohms nominal, 50 watts RMS, 80 watts peak, which is the total music power. These terminals are a little bit gungy as well because maybe yeah, they haven't been used in a while and uh, yeah. Look, watch. Sounds quite gungy. This one sounds even worse. My word. Goodness me. Manufactured in New Zealand by Auto Freight Sanyo Limited. Oh, nice. Shout out to Sanyo. Wow. Sanyo makes some really, really good stuff. Really, really good speakers. I poss possibly have to rebuild these as well. Take the woofers out, take the crossover out, which probably will um, take this out, this out, and that out. Same with the others as well. And uh, yeah, just especially rebuild them. I might do a video on that, I might not because it might be a bit too long. And I might take the, the uh, covers, I'm um, sorry, the, um, the logo off the cover and keep the covers off and figure out what to do with them next because it's pretty thin look at that real real thin material they use super thin now yeah let's chuck these covers back on Okay. I can get the mid range and the woofer fine. And the tweeter I can still get to perfectly easily. It doesn't even look like they even have any covers on at all. But still, very cool though. This one's got a hole in it. I might not use these covers. But uh, yeah, real cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do a time lapse of me putting these speakers away from the lounge. Just as an added bonus for sticking around on this channel, on this video as well. This was going to be my 400 subscriber video, but I was like, oh, just... Just do it now, get it out of the way. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And have a good one. Enjoy this time lapse. And I just undone my shoelace. Anyway, enjoy the time lapse, guys. See you next time. Peace.